the meaning with this car is to try to show the concept of uh, the bioethanol, how far you can take it, not only to the level today where we have in production, but for the future, once you start from bioethanol. Today, we have the base as gasoline engines. In the future, we'll have the base of bioethanol engines. And this concept is to show how far that could bring you. The highlight of the car is the performance level that you could, from an existing engine, get 150 horsepower per liter. We're not saying that we should have 300 horsepower in the vehicle. The vehicle is designed for 150 horsepower. So that means that in the future, theoretically, we could have a one liter engine. We're not saying we will, but it gives us the opportunity to ri really right size, pick the right size of the engine, around 1.5, 1.4 liter or whatever. We don't have to have the big engines. So they'll be smaller, lighter, more efficient. But the most uh, advantage is the renewability, that the recycling. We're actually just borrowing the energy from the world for a couple of months or a year. In contrast to gasoline, where you take what's been stored in the ground for millions of years. For me as an engine designer, it's a dream fuel, it's a marvelous fuel. I don't see that it will be the only fuel. It's not the silver bullet that will uh, sort out all problems with the world, but it's a vital contributor to the total picture. So bioethanol, since it's renewable, since it's a marvelous engine fuel, it's something that we really will stay committed to in the future in parallel with other alternatives. We're committed to it and we will roll out this technology on the old coming platforms. It's not a matter of if, it's just about when, gradually. We can only work on one at a time, so time will tell, it'll be rolled out.